a lot of people are talking about Matt Cardona's uh, YouTube video. And basically, Matt Cardona was reflecting on his 2024 so far. And he's discussing a potential WWE return. There's been a lot of conversation here. There's been some rumors. Slice Wrestling has reported that Matt Cardona is coming back to the WWE. So let's just talk about this. Matt Cardona says, It's been a wild year, celebrating 20 years in the business, 20 years since my first match, four years since I was fired from WWE. Now I'm just coming back from injury. The doctor said six to eight months. I did it in four. Time is not on my side. I'm not getting any younger, but I feel like right now I haven't even hit the prime of my career. I feel like my best years are ahead of me. I've done it all on the indies, winning titles, cover of magazines all over the world, and it's been fun, and I needed it. I needed to find myself both as a performer and as a man. I did. I did it all. The time is now to go back. Where do I go? Do I go back to WWE? Do I go to AEW? Just having that taste even earlier this year, wrestling Adam Copeland on AEW Collision, just being out there, jam-packed, real arena, not the Ukrainian Culture Center Center in LA or the Showboat Hotel in Atlantic City, a real arena, and the crowd responded just on my entrance. It made me feel like, okay, everything I've been doing, it's working. So this is very interesting, and he goes on to talk a lot more about this. Uh, But I do want to talk about Matt Cardona coming to WWE because it was reported that Matt Cardona was signing with the WWE. Now, the problem is Slice Wrestling, and I don't know who Slice Wrestling is. There have been times on this channel where I have talked about stories that have come from Slice Wrestling. And one of the biggest things that bothered me about Slice Wrestling, and this is not like a personal thing, but there would be stories that Slice reported that actually came to fruition. Now... A year ago, Slice Wrestling reported Matt Cardona joining WWE, and that didn't happen. So it's not the first time I've talked about Matt Cardona joining the WWE again. But I do think that Matt Cardona joining the WWE would be the right move. Not under Zack Ryder, not under any other gimmick other than Matt Cardona. I want to see the Matt Cardona that's been killing it on the indies show up in WWE. That's the version of Matt Cardona that I want to see in the WWE. Now, it's important when talking about this, we got to talk about the current foundation of WWE and where does he stand in the current version of WWE? Because Matt Cardona is somebody who I feel like could come to WWE and be a big part of the WWE. The problem is there is a lot of things happening in the WWE. I don't know if Matt Cardona would instantly get that gratification from coming to the WWE, right? Like how we were talking about it earlier on the stream. Naomi returned. Naomi's a prominent figure on TV. But when it comes to actually having anything massively notable happening in her career since her return, there hasn't been. Is she a prominent figure on television? Yes. Does she wrestle on television? Yes. Is she involved in backstage segments? Yes. But is she winning titles? No. Is she necessarily chasing titles? Not really. So I think Matt Cardona, if he were to enter the WWE at this time frame, just the way everything is currently being positioned, I would go as far as saying that Matt Cardona will kind of just be floating on TV, and I don't want that to happen. However, Matt Cardona is a real-life friend of Cody Rhodes. Matt Cardona is married to Chelsea Green. Chelsea Green, Cody Rhodes, Matt Cardona, and Brandy Rhodes, they are all friends. Is there a way to have Matt Cardona come to the rescue for Cody Rhodes when dealing with the bloodline? Is that a possibility? Because even though he wouldn't be going for championships, at least he would be involved in the biggest storyline in professional wrestling. And that could be something that Cody Rhodes needs, right? Because we are watching SmackDown every week and Kevin Owens and Randy Orton, they kind of have an issue with Cody Rhodes. So Cody's going to need some real friends to come to his aid at some point. It does make a lot of sense for Matt Cardona to come in, but the only way they could have him come in is by having him come in in this particular storyline. I don't want to see Matt Cardona come into WWE and pull a Naomi, where she's just on TV, and she's constantly on TV, and that's cool. I wanted Naomi to come in as a big part of the women's division, and eventually they'll have something planned for her, but I'd rather have them do something immediately that makes Matt Cardona feel like a big deal. Because imagine this, imagine if Matt Cardona, and this is the reality, Matt Cardona comes in and the, the, the entrance is very smooth, right? The entrance is very simple. It's the, it's his old Zack Ryder theme song and then it cuts off into a remix and then Matt Cardona comes out. 
He's going to get that initial pop, and I think people are smart enough to know that Matt Cardona is not Zack Ryder anymore. Can't do the Zack Ryder gimmick in 2024, bro. It ain't happening. Oh, radio. Right? Pop. Big pop. People would go crazy. But if it does like a little transition sound effect into a new theme song, it's perfect for Matt Cardona. I think it'll go really well. I think if you see it on the Tron, always ready, people will love it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I would be super excited about that. Now, with that being said, with that being said, if Matt Cardona, if Matt Cardona does come back to WWE, I feel like he would be a lot more successful than AEW. I think it's also, you know, this is not a dig towards AEW, but I just don't feel like Matt Cardona will ever do anything in AEW. I feel like if AEW wanted to do something with Matt Cardona, they would have done something with him when they had him go up against Adam Copeland. The reaction was there. People wanted him. But for some reason, it, it, it just doesn't look like AEW knew what to do with him. And they had Zack Ryder there. They had Matt Cardona in the beginning when Cody Rhodes was there. And they never did anything with him. So Tony Khan, for some reason, has never done anything to commit to to Matt Cardona. And therefore, that's why I wouldn't want to see it. It's not like he's never showed up in AEW. He has a couple times, and they've never really figured out a way to do something there. I also don't think there's really a purpose for him to go to AEW because I don't think really AEW needs him. Um, so just kind of throwing that out there. But I do think this conversation is a good one. I think Matt Cardona potentially coming to WWE is a very good thing. I think Matt Cardona coming into WWE is not only a good thing for him, but it seems like that's kind of how, I think that's kind of what he's wanted. I think he wanted to leave WWE, go to the indies, show that he can do some really big things in the indies, which he did, by the way, and then have him come to WWE when the time is ready. And I think the time is ready. I think Cody Rhodes is going to have a very hard time picking a fight with the bloodline when you got Kevin Owens and Randy Orton turning on you. And I think it's also really interesting that Ricky Starks, we don't know his situation with AEW, but he's also a real-time friend uh, of Cody Rhodes. So imagine if you have Cody, imagine if you have Cody Starks and Cody Starks and Matt Cardona and somebody else together, Sami Zayn, you know, and they're taking on this version of the bloodline. My point that I'm making is that there's a lot of cool things that you can do here. There's a lot of ways for WWE to go about it, and that's what I do want to see. But who knows what's going to happen, my friends? Who knows what is going to happen? And that's why I am super intrigued by seeing what happens, because long term, this could have some really good effects for WWE, especially when we're talking about WWE potentially expanding the bloodline storyline up until WrestleMania 42 when we get Roman versus Rock at Wembley Stadium. Yeah, I have a very strong feeling WWE is extending the storyline, so this is another way to do so. You got some more people debuting on the bloodline. Now you got Cody and, and maybe Ricky and, and Matt Cardona. How do you say no to that, bro? How do you say no to that? <laughs> 